Hi! Today I'm going to show you how I made this LED cube. So I started this project off like I start a lot of my projects with an idea. Sometimes I'll sketch the idea down in my sketchbook. Sometimes I'll look something up on Pinterest. Sometimes a combination of things. I will also leverage a program called SketchUp to draw 3D models. In this project, I opted for using SketchUp instead of actually sketching out the designs. I threw together a pretty simple design. The yellow represents wood and the white represents acrylic. If I bring one of the sides out, you can see that the corners are all mitered for both the wood and the acrylic. My plan is to glue everything together and it will all be stacked like you see in this model. First I'm going to cut all the wood pieces. I'm going to go ahead and set my saw up so that it has a 45 degree angle. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust the fence as well. What this is going to allow me to do is make one pass on one edge to cut one angle on one side. And I should be able to flip it around and then just pass it through with the fence. And that'll give me both cuts and the length or the width that I need. So what I'm going to be using is a half inch plywood. And it's standard plywood, but I thought it was really cool because it has really nice uh, pattern that almost looks like a, a bamboo kind of style. So we'll see how that ends up turning out. Next, I need to cut down to the proper height each of the sides. But before I do that, the acrylic needs to be the same widths as well. So while I've got this set up, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those. That way I know everything should match. So this is the acrylic I'm using. It's just under about a quarter inch thick. Unfortunately, since I have the table saw set up the way I need it for the sides, what I'm gonna do is cut it down on the chop saw so it's a small piece that I can then run through the table saw. Next up, I'm cutting everything down to the right heights. My first acrylic piece didn't come out quite like I had hoped. It's not quite uh, square in a couple places. So I ended up cutting a strip that's one inch wide and then I'm gonna cut the uh, bevel cuts off of this. Got all the individual parts cut out. Now I want to take a look at the electronics. I ordered a few parts online, and I'll put links to those in the description. Got a 12 inch LED tape strip, and then a connector for the power, and then the actual power cable itself. This switch I had just laying around. So one of these sides will have to have the switch in it. I'll need to cut a hole for that. I also need to cut a hole of some sort for the power cord to go through.
One more thing before everything gets assembled, I need to sand all the outsides of the wood and knock down some of the sharp edges. And then I also want to sand the acrylic so it gives it a little bit of a frosted look. Wait a minute, what am I doing? I forgot, I've got a better tool for this. Now I'm gonna to try to put it all together. I'm gonna to use wood glue for the wood and super weld Extreme. for the acrylic and then to glue the acrylic to the wood. As you can see here, the miter joints between some of the acrylic wasn't very flat, so it was really hard to get the glue to stick on those surfaces, so I ended up switching over to hot glue. Suppose if I were to make another one, I would actually make this out of resin, maybe, and you wouldn't see the corner seams as well as you can. And then I wouldn't have to worry about gluing it either. Anyway, before I assemble everything, I'm going to stain the wood. I did make this little insert that I can put in on the top. I'm gonna to use this Classic Oak Gloss Poly Shades. This is a stain in polyurethane in one. That way I only need one or two coats of this and it's good to go. Well, I let this stuff dry, I'm gonna go work on the electronics. The electronics for this are gonna be pretty simple. The LED tape plugs into the power connector and the power connector plugs into the power supply. You know, classic boy meets girl tail. And that works pretty well, as you can tell. However, I don't want to have to plug and unplug this all the time when I want to turn it on, so I need to wire in a switch. In order to do that, I need to cut the power connector in half. Next, I need to strip the end of the wires. And then I just have to solder the wires to the switch. Final assembly, I'm adding this little insert that is the same as the top. Uh, it'll be for the bottom, so it's not going to be stained, and it's going to be attached with the hot glue gun in case I need to get in and mess with any of the electronics. Before I show you any of the final shots, I just wanted to say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, especially if you have any tips for working with acrylic. That was a bit painful. Let me know if you have any ideas on things you want to see me do, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.